what's up guys so um, today I am going to attempt to make a kayak rack um, I mean it's always good to have your kayak rack just because you don't want it laying around or getting scratched up or so I'm gonna try to make a kayak rack I'm gonna explain what I have but I mean you can use different material I kind of just went a little more of a cheap route just because I just because I'm not gonna have it outside in the rain, so I didn't really need to treat the wood or get treated wood. Um, it'll be in the garage or under a shed for most of the time. So that's just me, but you can do whatever route you wanna do. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I have two different sizes of wood. This is a two by four, I think it's the regular white wood, uh, 10 foot. And then these two, I actually purchased these today. These two, my dad uh, gave to me because he wasn't using from a previous project. Um, I did purchase these star. I did purchase these as well. Uh, these are longer just because I might need them. And then these are from an old project that we had going on. There's the saw. Uh, you could actually use same size wood for all of it probably a two by four would be best i don't know about these but that's just what i have so um another thing is i this is not treated wood this is the regular white wood and the reason of that is because i'm going to keep it indoors so i'm not expecting it to get wet or to have it outside and whatnot but if you are i would recommend probably like some wood that would last better in conditions of water because I'm not sure if that would. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the width of the kayak. Uh, the reason of that is so I can make the legs long enough so that I have the center point right in the center and it's not falling over or tipping over. But uh, I'm going to do that by using the measuring tape. So, yeah. We're just gonna round up and say three feet, make life easier. All right, so since we said it was three foot, I'm probably gonna want an extra foot. So I'm gonna mark it as a four foot for the front leg. And uh, most likely a two foot for the back leg, just cause there won't be much force going the other direction. I might even just make it both four foot, why not? But let's cut this guy up. And I am using a Sharpie because we don't have any pencils right now. So. All right, so we're doing the same thing for the other side. And I think we're gonna have enough, let's see how big that is. I think it's enough length, two foot. I mean, that's that's pretty good. I mean, it'll be slanted. That'll be what holds the kayak, maybe. But we'll see. All right, guys, so I finally cut these two uh, four foot. And um, I was thinking about it. I think it'll work so what I'm gonna do is instead of having the center of mass the center the center point the center of mass right here in the center I'm gonna push it more in the back and probably give it a foot in the back and two three foot in the front because that's where the kayak will be held so all the force is gonna be pushed more forward and uh, when the kayaks not there of course it's gonna be right in like right in the center and it shouldn't tip over anywhere left or right but um like i said this is my first time making one so hopefully it works i think it will so all right so one down one more to go we're doing this guy as a four foot as well so mark our little line this guy 
to make a straight line. Thank God this was created. Because without it, my line would probably be going sideways. Let's go ahead and cut it now. All right, so now we got two four foot, two four foot, and only, so we got a total of four four foot and two two foots. And then these are eight foot, if I'm not mistaken, but they'll be used for something different. So now, like I said, I only have one kayak, so I made these four foot because I don't need something really tall. What's gonna happen is that these two are gonna be the height. And then that's, those are the legs, but you could also think of it as the width from the bottom. So let's put it together. Actually, I'm gonna do a foot, not a foot and a half, a foot, just because when the kayak is on it, most of the, the weight and force is gonna be tilting to the, the side where the three foot are gonna be. So I'll do a foot. Do the same thing for this guy as well. I'll just go ahead and do it and then show you guys how it looks after. Okay. I think that's pretty flush. All right, so now we're gonna put three in. So now we have the two outsides and then that's when these guys will come in handy. They're gonna be the ones that go across to hold it steady. All right, so the kayak, um, I wanna make this rag big enough for like, if I get another kayak as well, that is probably taller. I think my kayak is 10 foot right now. Um, I wanna make it six foot where it could fit up to a 12 foot kayak cause it's half the size with no problems at all. So, there and do the same thing to the other one by flipping it make it as flush as possible make sure they're put together perfect and mark it okay Trying to use this guy. Right there. Nice. Now let's cut it. All right. So that one's already ready to go. I'm gonna add another one just for support. Like I said, it might not be needed, but the only way to do that is I'm gonna measure it and uh, draw a dot. I'm gonna do the same thing on that side just so I'm 100% sure that it's not slanted or crooked. All right, so I want a foot off from the top. So that's my foot. And then, and the same thing on that side. Alrighty, so both lines are drawn. And I know this piece is a little bigger than what I was expecting it to be. So I'm gonna make it flush there. I'll probably cut a little extra that's coming out. That's flush. Is this? All right, so, so far, this is what I got. I did four foot, four foot, four foot, four foot. This guy was six foot in case I get a 12 foot kayak. And the center point on this guy was uh, 
three foot on this side, one foot on that side. Same thing with that guy. And uh, now it's time to make the, the angles that are gonna hold the, the kayak, the little arms. So let's get to that. All right, so we got two two by fours that are cut down at two feet and one by three, so as well as two feet. So I'm probably gonna use the two by fours for the, 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 the arms that are gonna hold the kayak. And I'll probably use the one by threes and kind of make them go across from, from this end to that end, just to have a little more structure and support on it. But let's get it. Let's try to find out what angle we actually need this to be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark off from the top to the bottom where I want the piece of wood to, to start sticking out. And I'm gonna go with a two foot, both sides. So, all right, so this is what I'm looking at. So I think, I think this would work. So once I find the angle that I want, I'm gonna get it down. Let's say this is what I want. I'm gonna mark it down. And then with the measuring tip, I'm gonna measure it, do the same thing to the other side. And um, the same thing to the other two by four. In that case, whatever line I drew here has to match with the dot I drew there, as well as on this side. And it'll give me the same exact angle. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so this is what I ended up going with. I'm just gonna show you an example of what I'm talking about. I'm gonna color in the tip, because that tip cannot stick out. So, if what I did was correct, the dot is right here. So you would line that up and make sure that tip does not stick out. That'll give you the hypotenuse, like as if you had a, a triangle going on, which you can also calculate easily, but that should work. And I'll also do the extra calculations in case, just to double check. All right, so I got my assistant here. <laughs> Helping me. And we're gonna hold it there. Go ahead and hold it, hon. Move your hand, though. So now we're gonna drill. All right, so that's kind of the finishing product. Uh, like I said, with these one by threes, if it's the right size. I'm gonna do something like this, just for a little more support in the front, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the kayak in there because my GoPro is about to die, just to show you guys. All right, so that is the finishing product. It's pretty, pretty sturdy. There's a little extra structure pieces I added and uh, it's good to go. I'm just gonna add more things, but that's just me being me. So this is how you build a kayak rack.